Hi everyone, it's Chris with our everyday getaway and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna take you back in time. Back in time to our first RV, the Wookie Wagon, the one we had before we bought this one. It was a 2016 Thor Hurricane 29M and we loved it. Had no issues with it whatsoever, except for one thing, we had no recliners. We had a couch that you could pull out to a bed with an air mattress. We never used the bed. So we wanted to upgrade from a couch to recliners. So in this video, we're gonna show you that process. This was our very first video. We brought out the camera, took it out, and decided let's record the process. It's a simple, very easy, do-it-yourself upgrade. Hey, check this video out. If this is your first time to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time we release a video. So check this out. Hi guys, it's Chris. Welcome back to the channel. Today, Katrina and I are gonna do an upgrade to our 2016 Thor Hurricane 29M. We're gonna remove the existing couch, which folds out into a bed, and we're gonna install a new set of recliners. So come along, we're gonna show you how that's done. Something to keep in mind, very important, the most important thing as a matter of fact, before you order anything, measure your door opening in your RV. You wanna make sure that whatever you're ordering or you're ever removing can fit through your door opening. Because if not, it defeats the purpose. So don't forget, get a measure. One of the first things we wanna do is remove this pull-out drawer. Another thing we want to do is we need to remove this vent cover and we're eventually going to remove this vent because it's coming through the couch out the side. So just pop this off. It's just a piece of plastic. You take a screwdriver or something, pop it, comes right off. Take a couple screws out. that right off pass this back through and that'll be out of the way now this runs all the way in the back all the way out to the side we'll deal with this later okay in order for us to get this out the door we have to take this couch apart in pieces we can't just take it out in one piece it just won't fit so the first thing we're gonna do is we have some arms over here that allow this to, to fold forward. These arms are through bolted underneath the couch. We're gonna take those through bolts out and we should be able to take this out and one this piece out in one piece. We have two arms that come down, one on each side. This arm is connected and through bolted to this uh, plate, which is attached to the frame. And the other end of the arm is attached to the upper section of the couch. So, all we have to do is take these off. It's already loose. Take this through bolt out. Take the uh, one out on the other side. And we should be able to lift that out. Okay, now that we've taken the through bolts out, this piece should just come right out. All right, this piece is loose and we're gonna go ahead and get this out. The thing we gotta do guys is there are 
four of these brackets, two on each side, held on by some screws. So this is holding on the entire uh, sitting portion of the couch up top. So be careful taking these out, it could fall down on you. So there are four screws to take out. is the two sides of these brackets we're gonna take and disconnect the brackets from the sides and once we do we should be able to get the rest of it out couch is out everything's clean up we did a bit of a little trial run a couple things we need to deal with number one the vent now I've seen online a couple pictures some different ideals of as how to uh, deal with the vent one thing was to put the vent over here in the back corner hook up a registry to it and once you get everything in let it go another one was to let this come back out to the side and hook this back up and just let it hang out like that. That wasn't neat enough and clean enough for me. Um, I, one of the things that Katrina and I are thinking about doing is the middle panel between the two seats is to cut a hole through the leather, which is the same thing they did on the couch, the old couch. They cut a hole through the wood, cut a hole through the wet, uh, leather, stapled it back, put it on. And I think that would be the neater, cleaner way to go. So we're gonna look into that and do that. We went out, we bought some aluminum strips, and we cut them to fit. And then we went ahead and painted them and drilled them and got some screws and covered this up to give it more of a finished look because we didn't like the way it looked. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is start putting the uh, recliner together. Now we already put these two pieces together, they come separate. We already put the two pieces together earlier to did a trial run to kind of figure out how we wanted to do things. So that's why the back piece is already on, but they come separated. Our center console, we took the fabric off the bottom and we decided to go ahead and put the vent here in the center. We just thought that it would look a lot better give it more of a finished look. So we went ahead, be careful not to cut through on the uh, fabric. And we went ahead, put a hole in it, put this on there. We think it's gonna look a lot better than having a register in the corner or just having it sticking out the side. So we're gonna go ahead and get this hooked up. We wanna give you uh, what we did. So we ran the uh, hose through here, we took the fabric off just temporarily. We ran it through, it came out the front here. We'll put this piece back on, screw it back in there, staple this back up, stand it all back up and hook it and the vent hose will be good to go. Well, here we are and everything is in place and uh, we think it looks great. What do you think? Uh, I think it 
think it looks fabulous. You happy? Absolutely. The, the color's a little off, but it's still nice. I would have wanted like a lighter tan, kind of off-white color. Didn't have it in this exact style, but this is good. Um, they go together very easy. You bring them in, you lock them in place. Once we snapped and locked them in place, we lined it up left to right. Um, I think we made the right call with bringing the vent through the center console because it almost looks like it came from the factory that way. But now with these recliners, you know, just go all the way back, sit back and get comfortable and even take a nap if you want. I mean, the only thing missing is a cocktail. So once again, we, we just couldn't be happier. We think it's a good investment. Um, this is something you can knock out in a day. It's a very easy install. And I think it's a good upgrade to make on your rig if you don't have the recliners and you would like to get them. And there you have it, a very easy upgrade, well worth the investment. We were very happy with the recliners, worked out great. We used the recliners more than we used the fold out bed. And if you've made this kind of upgrade, if you've done the same thing yourself, leave a comment down below. Let us know how that worked out for you. Was it an easy upgrade? Was it difficult? How did you secure the recliners to the floor? Because that was one thing I had an issue with. I eventually secured them to the floor with some straps. We made it work out and they seemed to work out just fine. Anyway, if you guys like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. You'll be notified every time we release a video. And until then, we'll see you in the future.